Let's talk about the subobject classifier. Recall that a topos is a category with finite limits and power objects. We will see how the existence of power objects is a generalization of the existence of a subobject classifier. Consider the power object of the terminal object in a topos E. Then by the universal mapping property of power objects, for each subobject R of 1 cross x, there is a unique morphism chi sub r from x to p1, such that the following diagram commutes, and the above square is a pullback. But since projections from 1 cross any object is an isomorphism, we have this rectangle equivalent to the condition that for each subobject r of x, there is a unique morphism chi sub r from x to p1, making the square a pullback, i.e. The set of subobjects of X is naturally isomorphic to the set of E morphisms from X to P1. P1 is typically written as capital omega and sometimes called the object of truth values, while the inclusion morphism is the generic subobject called true or truth. In the category of sets, given the subset consisting of elements 0 and 2 of the set consisting of elements 0, 1, 2, 3, we see that the set of truth values consists of just the elements true and false, which is the power set of a singleton set, where false is the empty subset and true is the entire subset. The generic subobject is the set map with domain as the terminal object, which picks out the element true. In this case, the characteristic map for R sends 0 and 2 to true and 1 and 3 to false. Notice that in the category of sets, the generic subobject has the terminal object as the domain. We claim this is true in any topos. The proof is simple. Given any object X in the topos, we have the identity on X as a subobject. Therefore, there exists this unique morphism T sub X and its pullback shriek lower X which makes the diagram commute. Then by the universal mapping property of power objects, shriek lower x must be unique, and thus the membership relation on one enjoys the universal mapping property of the terminal object. We can now give the definition. Let E be a category with finite limits, then the morphism T with domain as a terminal object and codomain capital omega is a subobject classifier provided for each object x and each subobject R of X, there exists a unique morphism chi sub R such that the following diagram is a pullback. It is easy to prove that this definition is equivalent to the following alternative definitions. First, T capital omega is a subobject classifier provided the following presheaf is representable with universal element T omega. We can also define a morphism T from 1 to capital omega, the subobject classifier provided 1 T omega is the terminal object in the category of monomorphisms of E, which is a full subcategory of the morphism category of E, consisting of monomorphisms as objects. This characterization of the subobject classifier allows us to say the subobject classifier instead of a subobject classifier, since it is uniquely defined up to unique isomorphism. It is possible to define a topos by the existence of a subobject classifier, provided the category also has enough exponentials of a certain type. This leads us to the following definition. An object B in a category with binary products is called basable, provided for each object X, the exponent B to the X exists. We have that in a topos E, the subobject classifier is basable with px isomorphic to omega to the x for each object x. For the proof, we have the following natural isomorphisms, where the first isomorphism comes from omega being the subobject classifier, and the second by the definition of power objects. Thus, the evaluation morphism is the universal element, which is the characteristic map for the membership relation. To verify the universal mapping property of exponentials, given a morphism chi sub r from x cross y to omega, there is a unique morphism f from y to px, where f is induced by the universal mapping property of the power object px. Since the two gray paths factor through the terminal object and the generic subobject, 
by the universal mapping property of the subobject classifier, we have that the following composition is equal to chi sub r, completing the proof. Then it is easy to prove the following are equivalent. One, E is a topos, and two, E has finite limits and a subobject classifier which is baseable. One implies two comes from the lemma above, and two implies one from the natural isomorphisms where the first isomorphism is by the definition of omega as a subobject classifier, and the second since omega is baseable. Thus, omega to the x is a power object of x, showing E has power objects and is thus a topos.